15 best movies to watch on Netflix right now. It hasn't been normal for all of us to spend months and days inside, and it's now hard to tell the days apart. But through it all, summertime is just here. We have a whole list of awesome movies and TV shows for your viewing pleasure all on Netflix. There are some award-winning, genre-changing, thought-provoking movies streaming right now on Netflix. Here's our pick of the very best. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to turn notifications on to receive more great content like today. Stay tuned to the end of this video for our best hidden gem on Netflix. So let's begin with our countdown. Extraction 2020 Extraction stars Thor's Chris Hemsworth and tells the story of black market mercenary Tyler Rake who was sent to Bangladesh to rescue the kidnapped son of a drug lord. It's tense, well-paced, a solid star vehicle for Hemsworth, and contains just the right amount of genuinely exciting action to keep most viewers firmly glued to their seats. Uncut Gems Be warned, this is a movie that will put you in a two-hour session of tension and absolute stress. The Safdie Brothers film takes funny man Adam Sandler and turns him into a New York City jeweler risking everything to banish his debts and escape the collectors after him. Sandler is unrecognizable, but that's a good thing. We'd go as far as to say he was robbed this award season. Django Unchained The main theme of this story follows a slave named Django, Jamie Foxx, who is set free by a bounty hunter, Christoph Waltz, with whom he teams to rescue his wife, Broomhilda Carrie Washington, from dangerous plantation owner Leonardo DiCaprio. At 165 minutes in length, this film is a genuine epic, but it's compelling and entertaining at every turn, and thanks to performances by Fox and Washington, it's also one of Tarantino's most emotional films. Can't Hardly Wait If you like your comedy with a hefty dose of nostalgia, the 1998 film Can't Hardly Wait will do the trick. This is your standard 90s teen comedy, but there's a certain charm to it that remains timeless. Set on graduation day at a high school, it follows the stories of various teens tying up loose ends at a party before they head off to college. Ethan Embry is the shy guy who just wants to profess his love to his crush, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Golden Eye One of the best James Bond films ever made came with a pretty significant retooling of the franchise. To begin with, Golden Eye is also just a thrilling action movie full stop. From the sexually charged fight with Xenia Anatop, Famke Janssen, to James Bond driving a freaking tank, this movie is a high-octane blast. Minority Report Steven Spielberg is one of the greatest directors who's ever lived, but he's also one of a few directors who has kept churning out masterworks for every decade of his career. The early 2000s marked a period of striking creative endeavors for Spielberg, with 2002's sci-fi mystery thriller Minority Report standing out as one of his absolute best that's still somehow underrated. Tom Cruise stars as captain of the Washington, D.C. Police Department's pre-crime unit, which uses three pre-cogs, or a trio of humans in a vat of goo, who predict crime before it happens. Molly's Game if you're in the mood for a great poker movie with a crackerjack script, look no further than Molly's Game. Based on a true story, the film stars Jessica Chastain as a woman who became the target of an FBI investigation after the underground poker empire that she runs for Hollywood celebrities is exposed. While the script isn't quite as tight as some of Sorkin's other stuff, this movie is incredibly entertaining and Jessica gives a hell of a performance. The Ring it's easy to forget just how big of a deal The Ring was when it came out in 2002, but the movie was a massive hit. It grossed nearly $250 million at the box office and earned director Gore Verbinski his next job of taking the helm of a Disney movie called Pirates of the Caribbean. The story follows a journalist who investigates a cursed videotape that apparently kills anyone who watches it within seven days. There's an engaging central mystery and enough atmosphere to make Robert Eagers jealous. Beast of No Nation Idris Elba is best known for star-making turns as a drug dealer in the US TV series The Wire 
and his troubled cop John Luther in the acclaimed BBC drama. But this role is altogether more sinister. He plays a commander of child soldiers in West Africa for this extraordinary Netflix film from the director of the first season of HBO's True Detective. Based on the highly acclaimed novel by Nigerian author Uzo Dinma Awela, the movie brings to life the gripping tale of Agu, a child soldier torn from his family to fight in the civil war of an African country. The Two Popes Anthony Hopkins plays doubt-ridden conservative Pope Benedict XVI as a wounded bear during his meeting with his reluctant and progressive successor Cardinal Bergoglio, Jonathan Price, later Pope Francis, at the former Italian's retreat in 2013. This film was nominated for two Oscars. Fighting with My Family this feel-good charmer following the true journey of superstar wrestler Paige Florence Pugh from her humble beginnings in Norwich to becoming the youngest ever Divas champion is an unqualified smackdown success. Written and directed by Stephen Merchant and executive produced by Dwayne Johnson, it's an unapologetic soap opera. The Great Hack Data is now the world's most valuable commodity. In this terrifying documentary, New York Design School professor David Carroll is a man on a quest to acquire his own data. His journey takes him to London and to Cambridge Analytica. The consultancy closed down in 2018 after a scandal involving unsuspecting Facebook users having their data harvested and then used for political gain. Think twice about clicking away your personal details. A Quiet Place Regarded as one of the best horror movies in recent times, it became a smash hit when first released. In a post-apocalyptic, very near future, blind insectoid monsters with super-sensitive hearing have wiped out most of humanity. A family has to survive along with a few survivors, whispering and using sign language to communicate as creatures chase them down solely on the noises they make. Expect tense situations and a few heart-stopping moments in this must-see movie. It is a must-see for sure. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly This is one of my all-time favorite movies, and the best of Sergio Leone's The Man With No Name trilogy. The plot is a race to uncover stolen gold with Blondie, Clint Eastwood, who knows the location of the grave, Angel Eyes, Lee Van Cleef, who knows about the treasure, and Tuco, Eli Wallach, a scoundrel who only wants to keep Blondie alive because he knows the location of the treasure. It's a sprawling epic of a spaghetti western that moves in a flash thanks to the electric direction. Don't be put off by the long runtime. The good, the bad, and the ugly moves faster with more power than half films its size, said Matt Goldberg. Dolomite is my name. Not only does the Netflix original comedy film Dolomite is my name give us the best Eddie Murphy performance in years, it's also just a tremendously entertaining movie about creative expression. The movie is based on the true story of Rudy Ray Moore, a comedian who has aimed to bring his hit stand-up character Dolomite to the masses by writing, producing, and starring in an extremely low-budget film. Not unlike Bowfinger, this movie is hilarious behind-the-scenes story of one man's creative passion coming to life against all odds. We are pretty sure we may have not included all in the list, Please do drop in the comment sections hidden gems you have enjoyed alone and let the world also do the same. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications for awesome content coming your way.